Ladies and gentlemen, I'm pleased to welcome you here at the Technical Forum at the Group Exhibit Hydrogen Fuel Cells and Batteries in Hannover 2014. Please come in, have a seat, have a drink on the house and enjoy with me our next presentation dealing with the topic Hydrogen Compression up to 1000 bar, a fueled report. And it's held by Philipp Schröder from Andreas Hofer, Hochdrucktechnik. Give him a big hand, please. Oh, what a big audience. Hello. <coughs> My name is Philipp Schröder from Andreas Hofer, Hochdrucktechnik in Mülheim an der Ruhr. Today, um, I, I will give you a small summary um, about our field reports in the hydrogen business. Here uh, um, is the agenda for today. Um, the first is uh, I will introduce into my comp into the company Hofer. We will ha I will tell you something about different compressor types, special types for hydrogen filling stations, some advantages and disadvantages of these different types, our compressors in field, some research and development perspectives, and why it is good to uh, why it is a good reason to choose Hofer. Um, as supplier for our hydrogen compressors. In the end, the last five to ten minutes, we will have some question and answer. So, we have our company. It's uh, located in Germany, in Mülheim an der Ruhr. We are about 70 employees. We, it is an, an owner-operated uh, family enterprise in the third generation. We build up compressors and pressure transducers up to 10,000 bars. Hofer is founded, was founded in 1920, so we have a lot of experience in high pressure, um, although we have representatives worldwide. So the first, we started in 1997 with diaphragm compressors, which are good for chemical processes. Um, but they are not our preferred type for hydrogen filling stations because when we start a hydrogen compressor um, with a diaphragm type, we always have to discharge the complete gas system um, at the diaphragm heads for every startup. So it's really working fine for a continuous operation in chemical processes. Um, for hydrogen stations, we prefer the TKH. It's a hydraulic driven piston compressor with a standard uh, hydro with a actually a standard hydraulic unit and um, we prefer that type because it's possible um, to locate the drive sorry we uh, to locate the drive in the non hazardous area and um, the compressor itself we can um, build up in the hazardous area. There is a maximum distance uh, limited by the hoses of 10 meter. Um, and another um, good reason for this compressor is it has a really small footprint. So it's easy to install it at the wall or uh, located uh, directly mm, in the container where you, are, uh, where you have very less space. So. This is, a this is a working principle. You have on the left side, you have the gas piston. In the middle, there is a hydraulic piston. On the right side, there is another gas piston. It's uh, hydraulic driven. Perhaps um, can start uh, the um, animation with a working principle. Um, there is a hydraulic supply in the middle. Um, There is a hydraulic supply in the center. On the left, on the right side, there is a gas piston. The first stage that compresses the gas. Oh, there is something, something wrong. Um, there is an interstage cooler, and we have a second stage. It's okay. Um, oh no. Okay. There are some demands that have to be um, that are required by hydrogen filling stations the first is it has to be easy to service um, to have frequent start stop cycles per day startup process unload the efficiency 
Um, the acquisition costs, it needs a small footprint. Although uh, very important, it is a capacity regulation and the Artex zoning, the possibility to build it up in Artex zoning. So the two different types as comprehension, the 205 TKH for really for filling stations is a recommended version. Uh, the preferred design that Hofar always uses for uh, hydrogen filling stations. In 1979, 19, sorry, 1997, as mentioned in the beginning, we started with diaphragm compressors. But for a hydrogen filling station, we think that um, the TKH compressor, the hydraulic driven compressor, is preferred. So we have some examples in field. As I uh, mentioned in the beginning, since 1997 at the Munich airport, we built up the first hydro hydrogen filling station worldwide. Um, it has been a diaphragm compressor um, with the capacities. After that, uh, we built up Porsche Grun and Berlin. The next years, there has been Drum in Norway, Oslo, and we had uh, Daju in South Korea. Um, South Korea is special with a Kosher Certify. There are, um, the compressor is built up with kosher certified instruments, so we can uh, build up compressors for the Korean market. So the next step, um, we have some research and development perspectives for 2013. For, uh, we, do re, uh, we do research and development in new innovative sealing systems, for new surface treatment for the pistons and cylinders, for different ways to operate compressors, for, uh, for saving energy, optimi the optimization of the compression control process, further reduction um, of the power demand, total efficiency improvement, and although uh, we provide new valves with uh, valve manifolds with less potential leakage that although um, can can make very can um, can lead to increasing the costs. Um, why it is good to choose Hofar? Um, there are some reasons. Hofar is a uh, has a lot of experience, as mentioned in the beginning, since 1920 in hydrogen compression. The experience in filling stations we already have since 1997. We have an excellent testing customer consulting worldwide. We have a really high quality standard. <coughs> the most relevant system components like armatures, valves, heat exchangers, and armatures are in-house production. So we have a really high level of vertical integration and we can have an impact on the complete compression, uh, sorry, uh, co the complete packaging of the compressor that we can pack into containers if required or some other or if there are some special demands for instrumentation. So and the last reason already uh, since 1997 we build up approximately 30 filling stations worldwide and these filling stations are shown in the following picture. So now we can switch over to some questionings on this presentation. Or you can visit us here on uh, stand B59 here in Hall 27. Thanks for your attention. Thank you, Mr. Schroeder, for this uh, informative and very, very interesting presentation. Are here any questions right now in the audience? So we have um, time to discuss now. Hello, my name is Monterey Gardner from the U.S. Department of Energy. Do you have any round numbers around kind of uh, kilowatt hours per kilogram for compression to some oh. pressure? Um, perhaps you, it's, it's good if you visit us on um, our stand because there are our special technicians, our um, hybrid, our um, thermodynamics uh, specialists. Like we can give you the information at our stand B59. I'm Rafael from Zera Compress and I, yes, have a, I, I have a question regarding the efficiency which you yes. mentioned there in your um, 
uh, presentation. Could you give, uh, in average, values uh, for these hydraulically driven compressors compared with the metal diaphragm compressors um, for, let's say, these applications you normally have in uh, hydrogen filling stations? We have this information, um, but it always depends on the, on the properties. Um, for me, it's uh, not so easy to give a good information um, about the efficiency of these compressors. But um, at uh, OB59, there is our, my colleague. Uh, he is a really specialist for thermodynamics and the compression and the transducers um, to have a really techni technical discussion which goes a little, a little more deeper. OK, thank you. Oh, here. Any other questions right now? So, if not so, or something coming a little bit later in your mind, like you mentioned, you are all invited to come to the booth uh, B50 here at the stage, at the group exhibit, and um, please do not hesitate and come. I think all you and your colleagues will welcome you, and um, there are give some answers, and there are other experts, and maybe show you some um, uh, directly there. Okay, thank you. Okay, thank you for being here, Mr. Schröder. So after a short break, we will continue here um, with our next presentation uh, by Thorsten Hohe, dealing with the topic stationary MW class fuel cells, examples of economic, efficient, and low maintenance industrial CHCP. Thank you for staying.